ATG Rel back again. Terrell here with another review. This time for Blue Beetle, which I just went to see. Man, um, you um, you DCEU fans, I think you're gonna be upset. Uh, I think you're really gonna be upset because uh, uh, the movie was good. I'm I'm sorry. Uh, hate to hate to tell you this. Um, I don't know what to say. Uh, the, the 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 movie was good. You're, you're gonna be mad. Uh, I, I don't know what you guys want. I feel like everybody's going to the movies now just to hate on something. They can't have a good time. You can't go to the movies. But that's another. That's a completely another different topic. Because we're here to review Blue Beetle, the 2023 movie coming August 18th, uh, this Friday. So if you're seeing this now, movie comes out Friday. Make sure you go see it. Uh, it's definitely worth your time. But let's get into it. Uh, let's talk about. Um, so many good things uh you know coming coming out of this movie I, I one my expectations i think were were low so i think going into this uh i i didn't know what to expect uh i didn't know what i wanted from it either not really having like a huge history on Hami reyes as the blue beetle um read a lot of comics obviously you know uh on ted cord and but i didn't really follow Hami like that i mean i've always seen him in like you know young justice and you know, once you know, once they put him into the games, stuff like that, kind of, but never really got you know, really dove into his backstory and like you know, kind of how he came to be. Um, I really a lot of the information that I know is really through because of Young Justice, uh, <laughs> and not to say that he's not a he's not a good character, but I just never like really wanted to really dive more into his world. Uh, just never really felt interested to me. Um, after seeing this movie, I, I definitely want to kind of dive into the DC Infinite app or, you know, go out and read, buy a comic, which by the, the screener I went to, they had comics for graduation day, which I read. It was pretty good. Um, and they had some other like DC swag they were giving out. They, they really want this to do well. Um, and I mean, a, a movie was everything. Um, but let's, let's get into kind of get into some, uh, I guess, the the um description of the movie like i said if you haven't already seen it uh alien scarab uh chooses to, to uh chooses graduate Jaime reyes to be a sim symbiotic host symbiotic host bestowing the teenager with a suit of armor that's capable of extraordinary and predictable powers forever changing his destiny and becomes the superhero known as blue beetle um you know they keep it keep it pretty simple uh they keep it pretty simple they don't want to give away too much um, I have no clue who the villain was going to be going into this. Um, I mean, there is a number. If you read comics, if you watch any of the DC, you know, animated stuff, you kind of have an idea of kind of where it's going. Um, but I, I, I think I uh, even I was a bit surprised as to as to, as to what this was going to be. Um, the movie is what two hours, like two hours, maybe like two hours and min couple minutes. Definitely about two hours though, because it was definitely uh, movie started at like whatever and i was out like uh it, it felt really it didn't it wasn't short but it felt quick like i feel like the pacing was really really well done um there really wasn't a slow moment maybe like the first the first few minutes of the movie and then it like it picks up and then you're like and then you're just on a ride from that point as soon as he gets the scarab you you are on the journey with Hami reyes uh but let's talk about some of the cast um and i'm not even gonna sit here and try to put your names uh, Zoolo, uh, who's playing uh, Jaime Reyes, Bruno, who's playing Jimmy Cord, Becky G, who is the voice of the Scarab, which I did not know. Um, not a spoiler, it's in the credits. Uh, George Lopez, uh, we have Susan Sarandon, which I guess maybe I didn't watch any trailers for the movie. I did not know Susan Sarandon was in this movie whatsoever. My God, you hate this woman in this movie. She is like, uh, the most evil white woman that you could ever think of um for the dcu um and i thought mercy uh lex luther's uh assistant was was terrible but no she she definitely takes the cake uh susan sarandon plays a character i'm not going to mention you know who, sh who she is and what her relationship is but she's terrible um but we have george lopez george lopez comes in um I, and i feel like he being the veteran uh hispanic here he comes in and definitely takes the show. Um, he he does he does a lot of good things in this movie. And I, I think that was one of the things that I was worried about was because of the type of humor that George Lopez has, um, that I was kind of worried he would kind of overshadow it. But his once you once you realize what type of movie this is, which is a family movie, he fits this role perfectly because you know, you've seen him do the George Lopez show, which that that entire show was about family, and he fits the role 
perfectly. Uh, playing Uncle Rudy, uh, I loved every single scene that he was in. You know, I laughed my ass off through majority majority of this movie. Every time he popped on a scene, um, him inter interacting with Hame and his and his niece and everybody, he he absolutely freaking kills it. Um, the the cast is amazing, um, and you know, just being in the theater that I was in, uh, which was mainly Hispanic. Uh, people in the theater. I don't know if like there was just tickets handed out to a specific group or not, but um, they they were digging it. Um, there was a lot of like references to that culture um, that clearly went over my head um, that I that I that I didn't get. Um, but they were, you know, I had somebody that was sitting next to me was kind of pointing pointing stuff out like, yeah, you know, this is X Y Z. This is what this means. Um, I knew the guy, so <laughs> I always think it was just a random person, but I knew the guy. Um, just pointing out like some of like the things they really put in this movie um and, and not to like hammer it but this is this is essentially the black panther for like the hispanic community um and it, I, they did a really good job um they really hit they really hit the the family um you know dealing with obstacles and, and, and so much more in this movie um and, and and they did a really well job um the movie definitely had a lot of heartfelt moments and I mean a lot, like <laughs> just really hits you in the feels. Uh, you know, it definitely caught me a few times during this movie where I had to had to adjust myself real quick to get back. Um, but no, the, the movie was great. Um, the movie was great, and it just really this is what you need out of your superhero movies. This if this is the the this is the stage that DC is setting going forward. This is this is what I want. I want more of that that sh Shazam feel with like that first one. Where like you got that family feel, it was real heartfelt. Everybody was involved. This is this is what it feels like, you know. This is this is where I want Superman to go. I want Superman to be real wholesome. I, you know, I, I, I want the action. I want Superman to be wholesome, and I want it to be real heartfelt because that's what Superman is. Superman is Superman is that symbol, but he's but he's a symbol for a whole lot more. And I think that's kind of where they kind of swerve from. And, and Man of Steel and stuff like that because Superman was just like, I'm not saving people. I'm not doing X, Y, Z. Um, and I, I think, like I said, Blue Beetle is is the good kickoff point. If, if Flashpoint was like, okay, this is everything going forward, Blue Beetle is is, is definitely that movie. Um, the action in this movie, um, phenomenal. Uh, I, I had I had nothing bad to say about the action. Once the all, all the scenes with Blue Beetle was just going off and they have you know they having a good they having the fight having a good time it looks really good um no granted some of the scenes are at nighttime which i'm like okay you know you gotta hide some of the cgi you know it, but I, the cgi didn't look bad if I, you know the if i'm not sure how much of it was cgi what was practical but it looked really good i don't i don't think it was a moment where it, i i looked at it and was like man that looks kind of it, it kind of stands out apart from the movie no, they did a really good job in teaching out the department. Shout out, shout out to them. Whatever they did, keep that going. It, it looks good. Um, but the action was good. I really love the different transformations of the suit. Um, I love the the different weapons and stuff that they show. The the flying, everything looked good. I'm not sure if this is like a DC thing going forward where the, and they show it in the trailer, but like they had to show like the character flying the space now and just have that moment where they just sit there and just look over the earth. I feel like Superman just kind of started that. Now that's every superhero movie where they can fly, they got to go out in space for some reason for like half a second. Um, but yeah, it, it, it looks it looks good. CGI was good. The action was good. The cast is freaking amazing. Um, you know, I felt like I was part of the family by the end of the movie. Um, and, and, and just I, I just love a good origin. I, I love a good origin story. Like that coming coming of age origin story. You know, person gets powers. They got to figure out X Y Z. They come into the powers, but. This is a good this is a good starting point going forward the uh like i said they they had a lot of uh like i said they had a lot of hispanic references like that i didn't get um they made some references to some, some shows that you know the telenova um some cartoons and stuff like that that they, they show throughout the movie um i feel like a lot of hispanic community is probably going to be like oh yeah they're gonna they're gonna get that um but I think they did an amazing job. Uh, I, I walked out of this feeling really, really good um, about the future of the DCEU, uh, what James Gunn is going to do going forward. I, I know this was made prior to that whole stage of things, but this is this movie is pretty much me like in the middle of nothing. So like it it can sit wherever it wants to sit, and it I mean they and they reference characters. 
obviously but they don't they don't show anybody or whatever like they they mention them but they don't they don't show them that's not a spoiler um so that so pretty much they can just fill in the blanks going forward um the movie does have two post credit scenes so if you are going to see this go check it out um we have some we have one one crucial scene and then we have another one that's that's for fun so definitely go check that out um but like i said blue beetle was an amazing freaking good time um this this gets a four out of five for me um you know i i can't give it that solid five just yet but it is it's coming home with me on blu-ray when it comes out i'll get the steel book uh, I'll, I'll watch it again when it comes to max whatever the situation is um it's good i, I highly recommend it so if, you, if you're watching this you're watching atg you, you follow me regularly uh let i'm just just know blue beetle was good it's worth your time catch it whatever price you can definitely see an imax the scope of some of the scenes are freaking amazing um, you will be emotionally involved in this story. It's good. I love all the tech in it. I can't have any more good things to say. I, um, only bad thing I can say is, I mean, they, they kind of do the DC at night thing, but it, it is what it is. Um, that's that's not really like a, a jab at it, but like I said, it's good. Um, but if you guys go see it, um, if you have seen it, um, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the movie too. Let me know what your expectations are. Let me know what you thought about the review. Um, that I get you, that I get you ready to go see it. Uh, but just know, um, this is a good point going forward for the DCEU. Um, you won't be disappointed. This is a good movie. Uh, check it out and let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys next time. See you.